This is really where a lot of the magic is, apart from the NCA toolkit, which allows you to do all of media processing for free. Coming up with the user prompt and the system prompt to make this work was not super easy. Coming up with the user and system prompt to make this work is vital. Otherwise, the output of this whole AI podcast is just junk. So the way I went about this, and I originally started doing this on ChatGPT, and it just didn't work out very well. It wasn't able to really produce that good of an output. But what I did was first and foremost, and here's our, our script, is I went to Notebook LM, which is the app I'm copying here. So I'm really trying to reproduce what Notebook LM can do, but building it as an automation so I can customize it, use my own custom voices, use my own voice, add video to it as well, add captions. So I can do a lot more with it and customize it. Notebook LM does a really good job of creating an AI podcast from either text or a website or a video. So what I did was, is I took a sample video and I had Notebook LM create the podcast. And then I used Descript to break the podcast down into a transcript by person. So even with the free version of Descript, you can upload a video and have it transcribe the podcast by person so that you can then use this to build your own prompt. So I originally did this with ChatGPT. I just couldn't get ChatGPT to give me good output. But then when I jumped to Claude, I basically gave it this prompt. And then I said, hey, I'm building this AI podcast generator. It takes a transcript from a video and it converts it into a conversational AI podcast. And then I gave it some examples. So I gave it my transcript. And then I also gave it the transcription from the notebook LM output with the person one and person two and told it to analyze this based off of the original transcript and come up with a user prompt and a system prompt that would be able to replicate the output here. And then not only that, but I did some research with 11 labs, which is the platform that we're going to use to generate the voices. And then it gave me this information here on how to add pauses and how to add tone and emphasis. And so I added that into my prompt as well down at the bottom. So I said, use these samples to help construct a solid prompt for transforming a script, including breaks and laughs and whispers. So by giving it the prompt, the transcript, and then the transcript from notebook LM, which was the output that I wanted to mimic. And then also the information from 11 labs, it was able to create these prompts here, which actually gives us really good output for generating our own podcast. And so now you can see the output of Claude as person one, and it also has person two. And you can see here it's inserting breaks just to make it feel a lot more natural. And see here, you can see we have mm-hmm, and that was added by analyzing the prompt as well.